Hi everyone, welcome. So today is a continuation of my videos that I'm gonna show you guys my collections, my different designer jewelry collections. So if you're new, welcome. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. I'm Malka and we love for you to join us on this weekly dose of luxury. So today I'm gonna to be focusing on Chanel. And again, I don't have a lot of pieces from Chanel, but I will want to talk about the pieces that I have. This bag, I'm going to start with some of the packaging. Um, this bag is available, I believe, only from the Rue Gambon store in Paris, which we were very fortunate before all this pandemic hit to be able to visit. And of course, I had to get something from there. So I do want to show you, this is the, the bag that you get. And you'll notice that it's a white bag with the black lettering as contrast to the bags that we typically see from other Chanel boutiques that are black with the white lettering. And uh, this Camellia, I think, was from two years ago. I just, they're just stunning. I mean, that's the other thing. I just love the Camellias, either, you know, the special edition ones and just the regular ones, which are really pretty too. And like I mentioned, I think in other videos, I happen to really love packaging. Um, it just, it's just something, it's part of the luxury experience. If you're going to buy something that's really expensive, you want it to be packaged really well. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a, a brooch that I got. It's one of my first Chanel pieces that I invested in. Obviously, with Chanel, their fine jewelry is super, super pricey. So I've really stayed right now and invested only in a few, very few fashion pieces. I know a lot of people have heard things where, you know, there's been some quality control issues, but I can tell you because I've had these pieces for quite a while now that they are actually in really decent shape and I haven't, I'm careful, but I'm not like super babying them. So this is the box I, I got. This is from my brooch, so I'm gonna open it up. And again, I love this packaging. It's this soft felt, it's just really pretty, and it opens up. Let me get this opened. And inside is the brooch. So here you see is the pin, okay? And I happen to also have kept the original tag which shows what the price was. So this piece, and I know it's uh, hard to show here, so I'm gonna show it up front. This piece shows the quilting, that's the classic Chanel quilting in yellow gold on one C, and on the other C you have a, like uh, rhinestones, which I thought was really pretty. Oops, okay, we're gonna take it out. And so it just has a straight pin on the back, and I'll insert some close-ups so you guys can really see what I'm talking about. Now this piece, all of Chanel pieces, should have some mark that says where, when it was made and that it's Chanel, so it's authentic. Now this particular piece, um, and again, this is the label that it came with, was $425, okay? And I believe this piece was part of their revolving collection. I will, and, and every um, Chanel stamp that's on the jewelry indicates when it was made, so the year it was made. And I know this is more, I, I'm trying to remember how far back this goes, but I know that at least for the last 10 years, if not longer, Chanel's labels have always indicated the year and then the collection. So they have their spring collection, which I think in French is printemps. So they have a P for the spring collection. They have an autumn or fall collection. So in French, I think it's autumn. And then they also have a V for their continuous collection. And they have the C, which is their cruise collection. Now, forgive me if those are not all the collections. I'm not super, super up on all the different labeling with Chanel, but I can tell you from the pieces that I have, what collection they came from and what year they came from. And I'll put that on the screen. So the next piece that I wanna show you is uh, earrings. And I don't have, like I said, I don't have a lot of pieces, so this isn't gonna be a huge collection haul, but this one is really cute. Again, this is another box, a little, this is a smaller box because it is earrings. It has a similar felt package. You open it up 
and it opens like this opens all the way and then here I bought these beauties um, I really wanted something with a dangle that was kind of unique and like I said I'll put on the screen what year this was I think this was from the 2018 collection and it was the I want to say the spring collection I believe but um, this has the little camellia in a pink dangle like a resin dangle and the CC's are so cute. I really wish, and I know they don't do this, I really wish they would have sold these where you could remove the dangle and wear just the CC if you wanted to. That would be really nice, but a lot of these luxury places don't make their pieces so versatile, especially the fashion ones. But as you can see, they're little seed pearls in the CC's, and I have not had any problems with this. I have worn them. I don't wear them all the time, but when I do wear them, I'm kind of careful. They tell you obviously not to put it in front of perfume or anything like that, but they're so pretty, and I've been really lucky that nothing has fallen out because I know there have been people that have said, you know, especially with the seed pearl and with the crystals, that they do tend to fall out and it's been annoying and some of the quality issues. So that's these, this pair of beautiful earrings. I also kept, and I keep it at the bottom of my boxes, the original label. So you could see here's the original label. And this piece was $525. Okay, and you can see it says, um, oh, you know what? This is from, oh, it's only, it's from 19. So this is from the 19P collection. And the earrings themselves, and I'll show this in a close up, are also labeled on the back of the CC with the Chanel stamp on a little label. Okay. So the next piece that I want to show are actually earrings that I bought pre owned. Um, these, I believe I purchased, I think I got these on fashion file. I don't remember. Um, but these are from the continuous collection. I absolutely love these. I'll post how big they are. They're really small. I think these are only, whoa, oops, <laughs> such a klutz. Okay. This piece is about a half inch. I think it's a half inch from side to side and up and down. Okay. And I'll insert close-ups so you can see it. Um, I just, I happen to really enjoy the, these earrings. I always wanted a really sweet little pair of CC earrings, and these really fit the bill. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera how they are so sparkly. Um, and they hit the light, the crystals really shine. This piece, um, and I, I have to, again, I'll check the label on it. I'll, I'll insert some pictures so you can see when it was made, but they're part of the continuous collection, but they're extremely hard to get in the boutiques. Now, I don't know what they cost in the boutiques because I have not seen them there. Um, Pre-owned, depending on condition, I've seen them go from, and I didn't get any packaging with these. So I think that's why I also didn't pay as much as you would if you did have the original packaging. But I think that these, I paid somewhere in the neighborhood of like 250. And I think I've seen them for upwards of three to $400 pre-owned. And I don't know, like I said, what you could pay in the boutique, but they're really pretty. And if I had to pick only one pair of Chanel earrings, I would get these. Cause I just, I just think they look so cute. Um, the next piece, I have it in a box that you'll notice is white. And so this box, again, was purchased from the Rue Gambon store where their packaging is the reverse of all the other stores. But this is not a piece that I purchased at in Paris. This is a piece that's similar, but the piece that I purchased, I gave to my daughter. And so let's open this one up. Again, you have a similar opening here, the same packaging with the Chanel. And this packaging is relatively new. Um, I don't think the older packaging opened this way where it was like this felt that opens up. And then here inside, you have this beautiful pair of earrings. They're stud earrings. I only buy the studs. I know a lot of people like, some, some people buy the clips. Um, a lot of the pre-owned market shows uh, the Chanel clips, 
but I really, I cannot stand wearing clips. To me, the studs are the only way to go, but I have pierced ears, so obviously that's why I prefer them. And these are from the Continuous Collection as well, but again, I tried getting these in the boutique and I could not. So these retail currently, I believe, for about 350. And I ended up getting these on eBay. I believe I spent about 180 on them. And it was because they didn't come with their original box. Again, I had this box from another pair of earrings. The earrings that I ended up buying in Paris, I've never seen pictures of them anywhere online, which is really unusual. They were very tiny. They were a little smaller than this. They were white enamel with a gold CC with cute little like gold um, pearl like beading all around. These are obviously black. This is, I believe, enamel with the CCs in gold with some gold trim. And it looks like it's just like ribbed all around the earring. So it's really pretty. They are labeled appropriately. And like I said, I'll show you guys up close pictures of the labels as well so you can see them. But I, I just thought it would be really nice to complete my collection to have like a pair of black studs that you could wear, mix and match with other pieces. They're just very versatile. So that is my collection of Chanel jewelry. And I hope in the future that I'll expand, I'll, I'll add other pieces. Um, I've had my eye on some necklaces. I, I don't know if I'll purchase the bracelets. I'm kind of looking to see, you know, if I can get a good deal on the pre-owned market because I know in the boutiques they're super expensive. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this. And of course, like before, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell so you're notified when I drop my next video. And I'll see you then. Thanks, guys. Bye.